Hi everybody, how are we all going? It has been a very hot minute. I'm so sorry, the last video that I posted on here almost a year and a half to two years ago, I was like, I'm back, hi, like blah blah blah, and then I dropped off the face of the earth. So I'm so sorry about that. I do have a whole bunch of things to update you guys on and I will be doing my makeup at the same time because let's be real, you don't want to see me just sit here and talk about my life for the past two years. So I do have a whole bunch of stuff written down, so I will go through all of that. But I will start off by doing my skincare. So I'm going to use my Embryolisa Cream Concentrate and then my Avene Eye Cream. I love both of these products so much. They're actually both almost empty. Yeah, so the first one that really impacted everybody was coronavirus. It pretty much just threw my filming setup upside down. Like, right now I'm still in the room where... Like, I used to film, like, used to see, like, my beauty setup and all that type of stuff. But my partner also had to start working from home. So that meant that we both kind of had to share a room. Where I'm getting with that is I let my partner pretty much take the desk that I used to use to film on. And also, like, do my uni work and stuff on that. Because I was like, you know what? There's no point in me having two desks because I can only be in one place at one time. So I gave him my desk. Um, like the one that I used to film on and then I had to put my work computer screens on my beauty desk So what you used to see in the background of my videos, so it just made filming really really hard Like my background was so disgusting like I just got two monitors um, And really they do not look aesthetically pleasing I didn't want to spend too much money like doing up the setup and stuff like that more so for the fact that me and my partner we're actually starting to look for a house and that's actually the next thing that I want to tell you guys. We have recently purchased our first home together so that's really really exciting. So because we knew that we were going to be moving out eventually, a lot longer than what we anticipated but we're finally moving out, we didn't really want to spend too much money on a space that we weren't going to be using for a really long time because once we move into the new house we'll be able to set up a office and a desk and all that type of stuff and we can actually do it properly for that room setup because we don't know what size will be and all that type of stuff. So that's really really exciting so I can't wait to move in. I haven't really faked tan in so long so I don't even remember like what colours match me and stuff or at least like not like properly fake tanned. So the next thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was that I actually enrolled in my master's degree. I graduated university in 2015, 2016. And honestly, if you asked me back then, would I do my master's? It would have been like a big hell no. I don't really know what happened, but I kind of just was like, you know what? I really want to advance my career a bit more. I was talking to a few of my friends about it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to enroll into my master's. I feel like it can't hurt. I enrolled into my master's in 2019. And I love it. I'm actually really, really close to finishing. I did decide to take this trimester off. And I guess with that being said, I'll be taking trimester three off as well. Because this is currently trimester two. Because I just needed a break. It was just becoming a lot, unfortunately. And then I think this is the last thing that I have to tell you guys. So it feels like so many more things have happened. And I'm sure they have. But I'm just talking about main things that have happened. But I'm actually engaged. So... Me and my fiance, we got engaged about, and it's a really long time ago, we got engaged November 2019, so just before coronavirus, like six months before or something like that. And yeah, so we're getting married in November this year. It's about four months away, which is absolutely frightening, but that's okay. I cannot wait. Hopefully we'll be moved in by the time that we're married, but we will see. With corona and stuff, who knows what will happen, but anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much catching you up to speed with what's happened to me over the last two years. I'll definitely share with you guys, like, homeware hauls and, like, all that fun stuff. Super exciting times ahead. I really want to start doing, like, a moving series and, I don't know, like, maybe start vlogging or something. I don't know. I have all these plans, but who knows if they will come into practice. I'll definitely at least give it a go, but if I'm awkward, it's not getting on the internet. Or at least if I think it's like really, really cringe. So one thing that really, really sucks at the moment is New South Wales has had an extended lockdown, so we're going to be in lockdown for at least another few more weeks. I just hope we get out of this really, really soon because I just feel so bad for like small businesses. I feel like since I haven't really been going out a whole bunch, my makeup game is definitely like dropped significantly. So. 
I really need to start upping my makeup game again because I do plan on doing my own makeup for the wedding, which is in under four months. So that's just absolutely crazy. I'm going to use a little bit of Indian Wood Paint Pot by MAC because I found it in my drawer and I was like, I really need to use that because I feel like I've hardly used it. But yeah, so in regards to my channel, what do I plan on doing? I really want to post more regular content. That's like a must. I'm really hoping to at least post once a week. I'm not going to say like twice a week or anything crazy. I can't believe when I started my channel, I used to post five days a week. That was before I had a full-time job and I had way more time to do things. But yeah, I ideally would like to post twice a week, but I'm not going to make that commitment. I'm just going to say once a week. And then if I do post a bonus video, then it's just kind of like an extra. It's going to take me some time to get back into like editing and stuff because editing normally does take me the longest time. I feel like filming, I love filming and it doesn't feel like a chore, but oh my God, editing, I absolutely hate editing. Sorry, my camera battery but died. Yeah, it's just absolutely so cringy watching myself back. Like, I don't know why. I just really need to get back into editing and be faster at it. Because I used to be quite good at it. Like, it used to only take me about two to three hours. Not even three. I'd say two hours to edit a video. Like, with effects and... Not effects, but like transitions and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to start with makeup content again. Just because that's what I really came onto YouTube to do, like kind of contribute to the beauty community in a way. And I'm sure that I'll be sharing a lot of like makeup videos and like what I'm really liking at the moment and stuff like that in the lead up to the wedding. And then maybe once we move in, that's when I'll start doing like homeware hauls and stuff like that. I started recently looking back on old photos of mine and I never thought that my brows looked like odd. But then, like, like, for the longest time, I never thought that my brows were strange or anything like that. But recently, I looked back on photos from, like, I don't know, just any time before lockdown. And I was like, why are my brows so dark? Why are my brows so light? Why are they not the right tone? And, like, all this other stuff. And I was like, oh, God. So that's when I went on, like, a brow product buying spree to try and find the right products again. So, yeah, I will aim to put up at least a video a week. It will probably consist of like hauls and stuff like that. I don't know, just the stuff that I used to post about. I'm really hoping that a few tag videos will also come out because I used to love them. They were the bee's knees, honestly. I know a lot of people are in a lot worse of a situation than I am, but I really hope that I get to go to my wedding dress fitting because I've spent so much money on this dress for one, for like something that I'm going to wear once in my life. I've spent so much money on it. Like... During lockdown, I actually put on so much weight. I was the highest weight that I've ever been in my entire life. So I have recently started to go on like a diet. It's pretty much the diet that I did in like 2018. I can't even remember if I told you guys about it or if I just did it in the background. But yeah, I'm really wanting to lose weight. More so just for like general health. But losing weight for the wedding would also be very, very nice. Because ideally, I would love to lose like five to seven kilos that would be like my absolute ideal so yeah i've just been i mean trying to do like a calorie deficit type of diet i really don't think that i could do like keto or something like that i feel like that's definitely not for me because i am i just have no discipline like at all i am going to put on falsies just because i feel like it these ones i've worn a few times so i'm just going to wear them again i feel like they're either model rock or maybe they're ardell I'm going to put the glue on them and I'll be back. Okay, I haven't put on lashes in a short while and the glues went all shit, but we're just going to roll with it because I really don't know what else to do. So I'm just going to pop them on my eye and hope that it doesn't glue all my eyelashes to this. And then they pull off. Hopefully the glue will dry down really, really soon. I don't even think these are the same eyelashes. I do apologize if I look like a hot mess. That's because I do. No matter how shit it is, I just needed to post the first video. Because honestly, I can't believe that I haven't posted in so long. Also, do you guys have any review videos that you want to see? I have a few foundations that I recently bought and I'd love to do reviews for you guys if you're happy to see them. And I might even show you guys like my everyday look. 
I feel like this video is so boring. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to be using my Milani Luminoso blush. I'm going to put on a little bit of highlighter as well. This is my Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio in the shade Molten Gold. I used to use this so much and I kind of just forgot about it, honestly. And then I saw it in my drawer and I was like, oh my God, I need to use that. I haven't used it in so long. I don't even know if like a beaming highlight is still in, but I still love it. Like for a night out, not that we do many of those in lockdown, but I don't know. I just still really, really love like that look. Okay, I'm going to stop adding products to my face because it seems like I just keep adding things and I'm literally just going to wash this off um, because I've got nothing else better to do than sit at home in lockdown. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much, guys, who have stuck it out till the end. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed being filled in on where I've been in the last two years because it's been a really, really long time. I'm so glad to be back and I truly do mean it. I'm actually going to film another video tomorrow and then hopefully I'll be able to set that up for the week after just so I've got a little bit of leeway with my videos. And yeah, if you have any suggestions for me of what you want to see, whether it be like fashion related, not that I'm really that fashionable by the way, um, but like fashion related beauty related, lifestyle related, anything related, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to kind of brainstorm from your ideas and go from there. But anyway, that is enough from me for today. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you in my next video. Oh my God, my camera literally cut me out when I was saying bye. Bye everyone. See you later.